Now this morning, I'm on the outskirts of Cotgrave and I've stood on the old Cotgrave colliery branch line. Now the branch starts a little way up there where there's now a housing estate and we're going to follow it down as far as we can go towards Radcl Radcliffe on Trent. So let's see where we go, the sun's shining, it's going to be nice and warm, let's make the most of it. So the start of this branch, it follows the, the uh, ground from canal which is covered in a, a previous video and the colliery itself was um, sunk and opened in the 1960s and around 500 experienced mining workers and their families came to live around here in order to work in this mine. Now the mine was eventually closed in 1994 and therefore the branch line that we're currently walking on would have followed soon afterwards once all stocks had been emptied out from the side. So we've got the Grantham Canal, Cotgrave Country Park on the other side and we'll continue to follow the course of the railway line. So we're now on the old track bed, it's far too overgrown to proceed this way. So we'll get back down onto the proper pavement and see if we can access it a little later on. So the old track bed's to the left, we're on a purpose made pathway, just the side of it. And there's a fishing pond to my right. Let's keep going. So I'm now leaving that path behind because there's now a path on the former track bed. So finally we get to follow it. And appearing from the undergrowth, the track is still, it's there, it's still visible after all this time. You always expect it ought to have been gone and removed. So when you actually find some, it's, it's quite fascinating. 25 years after the closure of the coal mine and the rails are still there. Let's see if, how far these actually go. So we've just gone past this little section and I've come back just to see exactly where it goes. I think it's going to take us to the canal again just to show how close the canal and the railway actually ran. And there we are. So this will be lot number six of the Grantham Canal. Now I've already covered this in another video and I'll be sure to leave a link for it at the end of the film if you're interested in watching it. So after a brief flirt with the old railway line, I'm going to leave it behind again. I'm going to carry on on the former track bed, whether we'll see any of it again, I'm unsure. There's quite a bit of ballast to the left and to the right. I'm hoping we might find something a little later on. I suppose that would have been used to control some sort of gizmos. 
maybe signalling. On quite an incline right now as well. I expect pulling away with a fully loaded coal train might have caused a bit of a problem for some locomotives, maybe not for others. So the distance around that bend, we've got Cockgrave, the old colliery site behind us. I can hear road traffic in the distance. So I once thought it would be long before we approach Straggle Fort Road. Whether we'll go under or over it, I'm not too sure. I think we might be going over. I'm not very familiar with this side of Nottinghamshire, so all this is new to me as well. So the answer is yes, we do indeed cross over Straggle Fort Road. Mm, if you're going to bring your dog here, it's a little bit risky if they're off the lead. It's not really fenced off adequately from running off down there. They'll be a bit daft if they go that side. <clears throat> All right, we'll continue on. The next road we'll come across is the A52. So the track bed is raised by quite a high level now. We've got Fordson's Holt Caravan Park on the right hand side and a number of horses and fields on the left. The track bed continues to rise. We've got fields full of solar panels on the left and farmland on the right. And a lovely surface to walk on. Uh, fast approaching the A52 now. The main road between Nottingham to the left, head towards Grantham, Bingham, to your right. I'm pleased to say there's a nice looking bridge in front of us. Almost at the finishing line now. I can see security fencing in the distance, which is going to prevent us from going any further. We'll follow the path as far as we can go. So, hope you've enjoyed this little walk and a little reminder of what used to be here. I'll leave you with some pictures and I'll see you in the next video.